Hello, everyone. We are wrapping up our one jam-packed day of coverage here at Cloudera Evolve 24 here in New York City. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, alongside Bob Liberté. We've been together all day long. We have. <laughs> what a day it's been. It's been a great day. A lot of great information shared, a lot of great insights being able to be uh, digested. So just overall fantastic day. Indeed, and really a treat to be in New York City. We do a lot of these shows and not enough of them are in New York. And this right. it's a hell of a town, as they say. Absolutely. So I want to start by asking you, as as an analyst here, Bob, uh, what struck a chord with you? What are what? Give us the context of what you're hearing and what are sort of the key messages and themes that you're going to take with you when you go back and and write all your analyst reports. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think the first thing is is really looking at the fact that, you know, what's driving the need for solutions like Cloudera, and that is, you know, we're increasingly seeing these distributed environments where organizations have put applications and workloads in private data centers, they're in public clouds, multiple public clouds, edge locations, and it's driving a tremendous amount of complexity. It also creates a tremendous amount of siloed data if you let it. And so the issue that organizations have is they want to be able to leverage these, this data to get great insights, but it's not easy to do so because they're blocked for it. So that really sets up why organizations are interested in a solution like Cloudera, something that can provide a unified data platform across their entire environment, across any types of data. Here at theCUBE, we talk about the Uber for everyone. So it's people, places, things, right? So no matter what it is, they're able to incorporate that data and leverage that data. I think one of the other things that we heard today as well, which is probably equally or more important, is the fact that not only does it help unify that data, but it also provides uh, or minimizes the, the uh, threat attack surface as well, right? So instead of having multiple different solutions that can be potentially breached, you're able to consolidate that down to a single solution where you can set up all your security controls, et cetera. So tremendous risk mitigation for organizations and then also that ability to accelerate innovation, that ability to leverage that data to derive business insights is really amplified when using a unified platform, especially one that's truly hybrid and can go across the private data centers, edges, and public clouds as well. And what else is accelerating innovation at, across organizations today? It is AI, uh, which we heard quite a lot about today. Uh, AI is a team sport. I, li I like Correct. that. That was a quote from Abbas Ricky, the, the chief strategy officer here at right. Cloudera. Um, and of course, it is not a tech conference in 2024 without ample acknowledgement of NVIDIA and the large role it plays in empowering organizations and partnering organizations. What struck you about what you're hearing and particularly with regard to Cloudera's strategy in sure. terms of how it's working with NVIDIA? Of course, it had a big announcement with its ecosystem, NVIDIA being a big, a big yep. player in that. Yeah, absolutely. I think what was really fascinating for me was to you know, come here and AI obviously everyone's talking about. And so that ability for organizations who are deploying AI and leveraging AI to be able to get a more complete view of the data and be able to leverage that data, especially the on-premises data. So a lot of these LLMs they've all done by scraping the internet and they've achieved, achieved, achieved <laughs> long day, they've achieved a certain level of efficacy maybe 80, 85%, whatever that level is. And in order to get it to the next level, because for a lot of industries, that's just not good enough. And so what we're starting to see is that in order to get to that 95, 100% efficacy for these models, you need to bring in your data, right? So with context, with maybe it's proprietary data, et cetera, things that don't exist on the public internet. So having that hybrid model having that unified nature of the data where you can bring to bear not only what you've attached from the model and the internet, but also what you have on premises to be able to drive up the efficacy, to provide that crucial context in order to make it worthwhile deploying. One of the things we also heard so much about from today was, or one of the things that's so clear today, I guess I should say, is that Cloudera really leans into its customer relationships, not just because 
of course, it's important to be customer centric in today's marketplace, but really because their customers are giving them great ideas right. and really helping them innovate, really helping them come up with the next generation of creative solutions. Um, we had a number of terrific customer stories on today. We had MD Clone, which taught me all about synthetic data, which was really cool. Halifax Airport, where we learned about how they're empowering um, not only aviation workers, but also passengers like us right. with um, new new data, new information to, to make air travel more comfortable, convenient, inefficient. And then we also had uh, Illumina on, and they do uh, ge genomic sequencing. Correct. And there's so many fascinating stories that we, we, we talked about here on theCUBE. I want to talk a little bit about Illumina because we, we had asked him about, he was the one who brought Cl Cloudera in. He'd been at the company and he said, what we're doing now is not working. We need, we need a better system. And so we brought in Cloudera and we talked a little bit about the challenges that that, that, that always brings. Introducing a new technology to your team, even if it's a tech team. Correct. There, people don't, people, uh, change is hard and people can dread it, people can drag their feet. Um, but one of the things I thought was so fascinating is that he talked about creating a sandbox environment right. and letting these technologists play yeah. and, and allowing them to, to experiment and see what, what is possible here. Oh, if I use this, I could do that. And he said, we, we didn't make it a, you need to do this. We're using this system now. Sorry, right. you know, lump it. Um, but he really said, hey, we've got this. Why don't you try it out? And, and he also said, we, we let people fail. Right. Making sure that they knew it was it was what we wanted them to do is to right. try and iterate and test and refine, and it's okay if it doesn't work out because this is part of our learning process. So that's one thing that really struck with me. What are some yeah. of the things that, that struck you about the customer stories we heard? Yeah, absolutely. I think you know the interesting part of the story you just told is that it brings up a really important point, and that is so many times when we come to these shows, we're talking all about the technology all the time, and there's also a process and there's people mm -hmm. behind that. And so what you're hearing about in that case with Illumina is the fact that organizations may be, people may be slightly resistant to change, which is just normal human nature, right? Overcoming those cultural challenges are often the hardest part of getting this new technology, but letting them dip their toe in it, letting them that experiment with it, succeed, fail, whatever, right? Getting comfortable ultimately is what I usually refer to when I talk about AI, what's the time to comfort with that new technology. And so it was great to hear them do that. I think another piece that really struck me in talking to the customers was, and they had some up on stage as well, some very large customers, right? Massive enterprises, all the way down to when we spoke to Halifax Airport. And that was, you know, team of one. And, but the results were unbelievable. So, you know, talking about his prior environment, having four or five disparate solutions, right, having outsourced teams working on each of those, not achieving the results, but then singly bringing in Cloudera, being able to attach all the data, unify it under a single piece, go from not only generating reactive reports, what was the change from last year and this and that, but doing predictive into delivering better experiences for organizations, for, for the people, the flyers, the travelers, for the airport, being able to understand the flow of traffic through the airport to potentially avoid spending $500 million, right? This is like some serious benefits that organizations are getting just by being able to derive insights from their data. But the key to it is being sure that you can have that unified data platform that brings it all together, that makes it easy to access the data, it's easy to, to leverage that data, and easy to get those insights from the data as well. Well, I think that is a fantastic note to end on, Bob, because you have just, you, that was basically an ad for Cloudera. You really just showed exactly why why companies are benefiting from from, from them at all. So Absolutely. thank you so much. It has been an absolute pleasure uh, co-hosting alongside of you today. And I want to say we have the best we have the best crew in the business. We have uh, Jay and Alex and Ken and Brendan. Um, they, make it, they make the whole day easy and a lot of fun. So thank you so much for, for joining us and thank you for joining us too here on theCUBE. We will catch you next time. You've been watching theCUBE, the leader in enterprise tech news and analysis.